Okay, so the other day I did, uh, well, you can see it right here in the background. Did a video on the Lee Precision, the uh, quick trim die. Uh, today I actually want to do a quick little video about the old school way. Well, what I consider the old school way. And here you have the, uh, this is the cutting tool aspect of it. And here is the lock stud. And this is just as much as, uh, well, you place the rim in there, you lock it down, and then you either have a handle or you can attach it to a power drill, and you just go to the town. Now, uh, there are two issues with this. One being, uh, well, this, again, is my 7mm Mauser. And Lee seems to think that the minimum uh, trim to length is uh, 221 Five. Whereas if I check pretty much all other reloading manuals, it says 7mm Mauser, the trim to length is 2.225. And that's kind of how I know that the quick trim die uh, has about nine thousandths of between its min and max. I'm explaining it poorly. <sighs> okay, so that said. Um, this one I've already trimmed using this, and well, you can see the other issue, if it will just focus, there's a little bit of a ring and definitely kind of an edge. This needs to be chamfered and deburred, whereas this is with the quick trim die, it's, it already does that process for you. So you have to add a whole nother process. So even if you can trim this down quicker, uh, it doesn't take into account that you have to do that whole other step. So in the long run, yes, the quick trim die does save you time. But this, well, we're going to see. Oh, and also look there. You can see where part of that little halo, we'll go ahead and call it, kind of fragmented off. Fragmented? Is that even a word? Anyway, um, so I'm going to throw this other piece in there because I know that the quick trim die did not trim it down all the way. We're going to go ahead and trim all these up using the old school method and then we're going to measure them just to see how well it does. Okay, so I'm going to try to be silly and measure these. So yeah, 2.214, so that's actually under what even Lee said was the minimum. Hmm, well, we'll see how the rest compare. Eh, this one's just a shade under 2.214, hmm. So this one you can see is a little over 2.214. It's like, eh, we'll go ahead and say 2.2145. <sighs> okay, so I am thoroughly flummoxed as well as impressed. So what you see here, we have three columns. These two right here on the left, they measured out to just under 2.214. This middle column, 2.214. That one right there, that is the one I measured out to be just above 2.214. So basically, we could say we have an extreme spread here of 1,000th. That is very impressive, uh, certainly when compared to the quick trim die. Now, the big downfall here is that I'm stuck with one case length. So if I'm trimming brass... All I can do is just trim it to that setting. Uh, th there is only one setting. It's the minimum setting. And the other big issue on top of that is that for 7mm Mauser, Lee seems to think that it's a whole hundredth shorter than what just about every other source says. So that's a little bit worrying, but if precision and consistency is really the name of the game, I mean... Here you go, just from the small sample size, I mean, this is pretty good. 
Anyway, so that's uh, another quick little overview of another method of trimming. Now I need to clean off my workbench.